fabulous people. I am Donietta. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Dietta. Today, I'm going to try out another, I don't know why I keep trying out new stuff, new product for my wash and go routine. Previous video, I used Design Essentials Natural Hair Care Line, and so I'm adding the almond and avocado. Can I get that glare off of there? There we go. Curl enhancing mousse. So, Stay tuned, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. I'm gonna show you how I apply it through my hair and give you my honest opinion on the outcome. Before we get started, if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. And when you subscribe, turn on those notifications so that you never miss the upload of a new video. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. I hope that you enjoy your time here. If you are a return viewer, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you rocking with me. So let's get started. I've already washed and conditioned my hair. It's still damp. Actually, it's dripping wet. It's running down in my face. So I use the shampoo and the conditioner. I rinse that out. I am going to use the get that glare off of there. The almond and avocado leave-in conditioner that I used last time, but today I'm gonna use the almond and avocado curl enhancing mousse. I haven't used mousse since I was probably like in my early 20s, let's just say 20 years ago. You can do the math and get a glimpse of how old I am. Black don't crack. So I'm gonna be doing my wash and go just as like I always do it. I have Nothing but water here. I have a rat tail comb. I have these duck bill pins. Not sure if I'm gonna use them because I'm gonna be trying something different as opposed to like sectioning my hair in four sections. I'm gonna work it in from the back up to the front and see how that goes. It is sort of hard to section my hair um, even though I part it and pin it with these pins just because it's a lot shorter now than it used to be. So sectioning it in four parts is actually something that I started when my hair was a lot longer before I did big chop number, I don't even remember, about a year ago. So, and then also just putting it all in my hair at once, that doesn't really work either. I have found that if I work a product in my hair in sections, then it turns out better, but also sectioning it and then trying to clip it, especially with this back section, that's just not the bee's knees. So, let's just do this thing how we normally do it, shake and bake. Now for my leave-in conditioner, I am just gonna apply that just through my hair, however, which kind of way. I find that with my styler, it's really important that I do it in sections. The leave-in conditioner, not so much. So we got a little bit of wiggle room there. And I don't want y'all to say nothing about how much leave-in conditioner I'm putting in my hair. This is my hair. I do as I please. Judge your mammy. Something that I decided to do was get my curly hair detangling brush and comb in this leave-in conditioner. I have found that that helps make sure that it is evenly distributed throughout my hair. All right, so now that I've combed the leave-in conditioner throughout my hair, I'm gonna just apply this mousse. That's all I'm gonna be using, leave-in conditioner and mousse. So this mousse comes in a pump bottle. Um, it's gonna give you some pump action. So I'm going to start in the back and then work my way through. It actually feels like, um, and it doesn't really smell like anything. It has a faint smell to it, but definitely not as strong as the um, leave-in conditioner shampoo or the wash-out conditioner. So I'm just working it through. It's giving me some good foam action. And I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just going through small sections, combing it through with my fingers like I would if it were a curling custard. Oh Lord, I hope I get good results with this. Especially cause I got something to do later on today. So I really just don't have time 
to restyle my hair. If this does not work, y'all, I'm just gonna have to um, wear a hat for my engagement <laughs> later on today. So I didn't even read the directions to y'all before I started. It says, apply to wet hair and comb or finger through into a desired style. Allow your hair to air dry naturally or use a diffuser to set curls. Mousse will disappear as it dries. So if you know me, you know, typically I like to let my hair air dry anyway. So this is right up my alley. It also says this is formulated with sweet almond oil and vitamin B to provide curl quenching moisture, curl definition, and the ultimate frizz control while wheat protein penetrates the hair cuticle for stronger, healthier looking hair and leaves a gorgeous natural sheen. This formula is essential for waves, curls, and coily textures, seeking a soft, pliable hole with crunch and flake-free styling. For a more firm home, try the Honey Curl form Forming Custard. The Honey and Shea Edge Tamer smooths and lays down the hairline to complete styling. So, if you watched my last video, which if you haven't, I don't know what you're waiting for, you know that for me, the Curl Forming Custard that has honey, I liked it, but as far as like hold and longevity of a hairstyle, nah, that wasn't it, babe. That wasn't it, ma. So I have a feeling just based on what that said, and then I can just feel, I know what Moose does, that I'm not gonna get a lot of hold from this. So this will be one of those things that um, I'll have to be dedicated to increasing the frequency as to which I style my hair. I mean, if I were just one of those people who loves to get up early, which I don't, before I go places and I didn't mind like styling my hair every day, which I do, the application process itself isn't bad. And what I'm doing is I'm actually making sure, it's a lot of foam action there for you, baby. I didn't know it was that foamy. As I'm making sure that I just work it through because my hair is coarse and it does have the tendency, like if I don't work the product through, um, then my hair is gonna be like, oh, okay, we're gonna have show up because you have applied. So I found that just being A, mindful of the type of product that I use um, is a big win for me as well as making sure that I apply it. Like, what some technique, some consistency and effectiveness. So see, I mean, this isn't bad if I had to get up and do my hair in the morning. Like I'm making great progress, it's really quick. And actually this working from the back to the front, I can tell it's gonna save me some time because I was fumbling trying to part my hair in four sections and apply product through. Previously, it was more of a nuance than it was um, effective. What I am, let's wet this just a little bit. And what I am starting to do now, as as I get towards the front, I'm actually starting to work the product through, but also um, positioning the hair to where I ultimately want it to be when it dries. A little tip, if I haven't said this before, I may have. Um, in the curly hair world, when you're styling your hair, it is important to remember that where your hair lays, it shall stay. And so I try to do a good job of um, 
styling my hair and letting it air dry in the way that I want it to lay. It's really, really hard to manipulate curls, especially coarse curls, kinky curls, nappy curls, um, once they have already dried. Um, so I try to go ahead and establish the shape and the position while it is wet. So we don't have any problems. You don't want zero problems, big partner. All right, so that wasn't bad, right? Now, if I like the way this looks, and this is something that I have to repeatedly do throughout the week, like if I continue to use the mousse as opposed to a custard, um, I might see what it feels like to just put it in my hands and just do one big glob. So, I hope you can see that. Mm, can I get that to focus? So I use from there, it was probably about right here. So I didn't use much, as many pumps as you saw me apply throughout my hair. It wasn't much. So I would say this is good bang for my buck. I think this probably cost me about $18.99. So I'm going to let this air dry. I have about five hours before my engagement and I will come back and let you guys see how it turned out. Okay, you guys, it has been a couple of hours and I am back. As you can see, I told you I had an engagement later on today and so I have done my makeup, my hair is completely dry and I am ready to shake and bake. So I wanted to come back and show you, is that? Why do I always have flakes in my hair when I'm trying to show y'all something? Mm -mm. So as you can see, I feel like my curls are not defined. My hair is really soft, about as soft as it was when I used the honey curling custard, but I just feel there's like no definition. So maybe if my hair was a lighter color, you could probably see the definition in it. But right now to me, it's just giving me like Afro vibes. Whereas before I have a TWA and you can actually see like the definition in my individual coils. The upside of this product, it is it is very light and my hair did dry in probably a third of the time that it would typically air dry if I use a, a gel or a curling custard because you know, it was a foam. It, it t literally air dried in a short, relatively short amount of time as opposed to a gel that probably has glycerin or something in it and it has, you know, thicker slower dry process. So to be fair, I really, really love the way that it dried. I don't know if I would say on a scale of one to 10, when I'm talking about curl definition, I'm gonna give this a three. I don't know that I will ever use this product again and that's not anything bad. It just does not give me the defined look for my curls that I like and that I am typically used to and that I can get with a particular gels and custards. My hair does feel very moisturized. Again, it is soft. There's nothing crunchy or flaky. That little lint ball that was in there that had nothing to do with the product. That's just my hair be catching stuff like a fishnet, baby, right? So it's not crunchy, it's not flaky. I cannot say that I would use this product again. If I did use this product again, I might try to couple it with a lighter gel, but to me that defeats the purpose. Like I don't wanna be using two and three setting products. I wanna use a leave-in conditioner, maybe like some type of oil or cream sealant, maybe. I would hope that my leave-in conditioner was moisturizing enough that I don't have to do step three, and then a styler. I don't wanna have to use two different stylers, so I'm really gonna have to pray about it before I decide if that's what I'm gonna do, okay? Okay, so. I don't know that I would use it again. If any of you have tried this product, leave me a comment down there and let me know how it worked for you, as especially how it worked for you compared to other mousses, curling custards, or styling gels. But it's not just come a complete just debacle. It just did not give me the definition um, for my coils that I typically like to see. 
So thank you for rocking with me. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And when you subscribe to my channel, don't forget to turn on those notifications so that you'll never miss the upload of a new video. And I will see you next time. Bye.